What an egg bowl we have going on. Maybe controversial at the end. There's a fourth and one that Mississippi needs, and they got it. They're going. They're down eight with a minute 31 left. But that's not the story here late in the fourth quarter. Uh, the officials reviewed an incomplete pass by Ole Miss. And I didn't think you could do that. It was deemed an incomplete pass, which it, or a backwards pass, which it was. Ole Miss scores a touchdown. They need the two-point conversion to tie the game. But as I was saying, there was a backward pass that was reviewed. It, it shouldn't have been, but it was a backward pass, and Mississippi State recovered the football and they were going in to score their own touchdown to go up 15 points or more at that point and coughed up the football before they scored. And Mississippi got the ball at the one or two yard line. Now, 99 yards later, they're into the end zone and they're going for two now. This is the opening of Rivalry Week. Oh, someone called a timeout. This is the opening of Rivalry Week, and what I can expect, then I'm going to love it. This is college football. This is what you tune in for. Um, and if you want to see a close game, just go watch my Detroit Lions. Oh, I was screaming at them to go for that fourth and one, that last one. They went for it on fourth down every other time and got it. Why not do that one? With 23 seconds left and then kick the field goal if you have to with two seconds remaining and going to overtime. Instead of giving Baltimore 23 seconds and three timeouts, it only took them one play to get in the field goal range. And then they had the game winner with two seconds left. Just stupid play calling by Dan Campbell there. <laughs> you got to go for that fourth and one. Be aggressive. Come, it, this is the fumble. And Mississippi got it. It comes down to this two-point conversion now. There's a minute 25 left. Ole Miss does have all three timeouts. So, this will be interesting. They're waiting for their play to start. Now Ole Miss calls a second time out. What are they doing? I... That heavy package with KD Hill. The They're banking everything on this. And Mason Brooks, all heavy in the I don't understand that either because you could get a field goal. You could stop Ole Miss with your timeouts or your Mississippi State if you are Ole Miss. You could you call your timeouts to get the ball back. You're wasting them right here for this two-point conversion. That's short-term thinking, in my opinion. There's a lot of time on this. Mississippi State can go down and kick a field goal and win this game, even if you get this two-point conversion. Why are you wasting timeouts? I'm asking. So here it is. They're back out onto the field. Lane Kiffin looks very concerned. Mike Leach is like, what's going to happen? Here we go. That was incomplete. Incomplete. They're running it back, but it don't matter yet. And so now... It was in, they try to they try to shovel pass you know up the middle. He threw it into a Mississippi State player's back. Incomplete. Oh, Mississippi State player got a hand on the ball. That's what it was. Good play. So because Ole Miss called them timeouts, they could have had three right now. They have to kick the onside now and see if they can get it. Oh, 
play after play when they needed to. What a great effort on the part of Ole Miss to come down the field and make play after so play. So here it is. What a great game. I mean, this Mississippi State is 24. Is Ole Miss is 22. There's a minute 25 left, and Ole Miss only has one timeout. They have to go for the onside kick. What a crazy ending to this game it has been. That's why college football is the best. And what a precursor for rivalry week. You got the Iron Bowl coming up. You have the game coming up. You have some good Pac-12 games. Another timeout. My goodness. Tomorrow we have some really good games, like five of them, and then Saturday at noon is the big one. We do not want to go to the Rose Bowl. <laughs> we want to go to the Big Ten Championship and college football playoff. Corum or not, I think Michigan can get it done. We will see. Mississippi State is set up for the onside kick. And here it is. Oh, a little fake out. A little fake. It didn't get 10 yards. Don't matter. Game's over. Three knees away. Ole, uh, Mississippi State won. Ole Miss went down. And they are celebrating. So, like I said, a great precursor to what is to come this weekend in rivalry. Week. Thank you, everybody. Remember to like the video, share, subscribe. Have a great night and weekend. And I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving and your bellies are full. Minus.